Okay, today's lesson objective, students will solve word problems involving perimeter and area. So this first problem, we have the perimeter of a rectangle is 690 inches and its length is 213 inches. Find the width of the rectangle. So we're going to want to first of all draw a picture of it. If you draw it, it will make it easier to solve the problem. You can see visually what's happening. So we will draw ourselves a rectangle. And we know the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So if the length is 213, that means it's 213 on the opposite side, and we'll use W for the width, because we don't know what that is. So the perimeter is 690 inches. Perimeter is determined by adding up all the sides. So 213 plus W plus 213 plus W has to add up to 690. Then you combine your like terms. So we have 2W plus 426, and that has to equal 690. Subtract the 426 from both sides. And you get the 2W is equal to 264. And then you divide by 2 and you get that the width is equal to 132 inches. And that would be your answer. This next problem involves area. Now we have a rectangle with an area of 144 square meters. So I'm still going to draw myself a picture of it. The area equals 144 square meters. And the length is 3 times the width. So if I call the width W, 3 times the width is going to be 3W. And so the area of a rectangle is found by doing length times width. So we're going to plug in what we know and solve for what we don't know. So the area, 144, is equal to the length, 3W, times the width, W. And 3W times W is just 3W squared. And then I divide both sides by 3. And so I get that the width is equal to, or the width squared, rather, is equal to 48. So if I want to find out what the width is, I need to take the square root of both sides. And 48 um, has a perfect square that will divide into it. Um, you want to find the biggest one you can. In this case, 16 times 3 is equal to 48. So that means that my width is 4 root 3 meters. And then the length is equal to 3 times the width, so 3 times 4 root 3. And so that would be 12 root 3 meters. Okay, so the width is 4 root 3 and the length is 12 root 3. Okay, so this next one um, is a little easier. And you guys are going to do this one on your whiteboard. If you're watching this at home, pause the video and attempt to do the problem on your own. First of all, draw a picture. Let me see your picture. Okay, so your picture should look something like that. We're going to use L for the length and 19 for the width, and the area is 551. All right, now plug it in and solve for the length. So again, using, whoops, using area equals length times width, that means that 551 has to equal L times 19. So to get the L alone, we're just going to divide by 19. And that means that the length is 29 inches.
Okay. All right, now we'll do a problem involving a triangle. The area of a triangle is 578 square centimeters. Its base is four times the length of its height. So again, I want to draw a picture of it just so I have a good idea of what's going on here. So this would be my height, and the base is four times the length of the height, so I can call that 4h. So again, area of a triangle is one-half base times height. So we know that 578 has to equal half of the base, which is 4h, times the height, h. And then I multiply that out. Half of 4 is 2. h times h is h squared. And so if we divide by 2, I know that h squared is going to be 289. So when you take the square root, you get that h is equal to 17 centimeters. And then the base is just 4 times the height. And so that comes out to 68 centimeters. And so those are the dimensions for the triangle. All right, this last one is one for you to try on your own. First draw yourself a picture. Then uh, pause the video and check your picture after you've drawn it. Okay, so your picture should look something like this. Um, you're told that the base is 24, and the height is what you have to find. That's h. And, of course, the area is equal to 204 square meters. So use that information now to solve for the height. Again, pause the video now. So area equals 1 half base times height. That means 204 has to equal half of 24 times h, and half of 24 would be 12, so 204 equals 12h. And then if you divide both sides by 12, you get that the height is 17. So 17 meters would be the height of the triangle. Thank you for watching the video.